Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Thank you for watching How to Buy a Home. Well, if you're under contract or in escrow, order that inspection. How do you figure this out? Usually the agent will help you out. Um, they have a list of inspection people that they've worked with. And or get on the phone and call. See when they're available to get the inspection done and within the timeline of the contract and how much it's going to cost. And ask them about all the different inspections that they can do. Can they do a leach field? Can they do a septic? Can they do a well? Can they do the um, radon? Can they um, get mold? Can you do a mold inspection? And if not, they'll know who can, usually, and what kind of inspections you want. First of all, you do want to have an overall inspection on in the home. I mean, you are spending thousands of dollars. This inspection should cost, you know, three to four hundred dollars usually. And what I have recommended my buyers to do is you meet the inspection person at the home if you can, if you're able to, and follow him around and see what he says about the house and, and, and ask questions if you have any questions because those inspection people are very knowledgeable about houses. This is what they do for a living and they're looking for, for something wrong. They, they want to make sure you're buying a good product and a good house. Now, take into account that you know, when you get an inspection, you're going to find a bunch of different things, a bunch of little things, but just a bunch of different things. What you're really looking for is you know, leaky roofs or cracked foundations that may be shaking off the, you know, sinking in or, or shaking off the hill or something like that. Um, things that are very expensive to get fixed, in other words. Um, that's the things that you want to um, address. And, and if that is the case, then you have something in writing to say to the seller, hey, um, can you fix this? And if you're not going to fix it, great, I don't want to buy the house. Or you can say, hey, can you fix this? But you can't fix it because you don't have the money to do it, but I don't want this problem three years down the road. Well, then you say, let's reduce the price. It's another negotiating time. Okay, you can ask also, hey, can you fix these items? And they'll say yes or no, or we'll split it, or whatever. Um, it's a time where they can say, forget it. And then you can decide if you want to go forward with the contract or not. If you decide to go forward with it, great. If you decide not to go forward with it, then great too. But it is a time that you can Say, I don't want to buy the house. I changed my mind. I don't want to have to pay for a roof. <laughs> I've had that happen, actually. Um, yeah, I've had that happen. But usually people do get, they negotiate something out about roofs because that seller can't sell a house because people won't lend on a house that needs a roof. So chances are something's negotiated out. So good luck with your inspection. You just want to see what you're getting into and be reasonable with your seller of, of, of what you want fixed, if anything. And it just matters how much you bought the house for, how much you're getting the house for, and what the demand is on the market of how you negotiate that one out. All right? Thanks for watching. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.